Yo ho ho! What is going on guys? Today I'm coming at you with the S-Box sitting on my driveway and we're gonna come at you with how to check your oil quality. We're gonna see how many miles you can get with the color of your oil, when do you need to change it. We're gonna talk about say there's different colors like you got coolant in your oil, you got this, you got that. We're gonna get into that today. So to get things started, I'm going to take my car, I'm going to pull it right on up. For this video, all you need is a couple paper towels, um, the ability to get to your engine, but we'll get into that. And the reason why I am checking my oil quality, the sticker says 134. Let me pop that on up, 134, 100. So it is over the sticker. Most places will give you this little sticker, so you go get an oil change. Little bug. But, um... Apart from that, you might lose a sticker, but sometimes this might not be completely accurate and you want to squeeze the last little bit of life out of your oil. We're going to go show you how to go do that. So the garage is right there and I'm going to pull right on up and we're going to get right on into it. As we get on into the video, um, I'm going to post a uh, little picture. It's going to be coming through in just a little bit, but um, we're going to be looking for clear oil. Clearer the oil, the better. Amber is fine little brown you can get away with for a couple hundred miles but when it starts getting overly brown like black like oh don't, don't run your cat with no black oil you got like milky oil mm, i got a little bit of cooling in there but um yeah first things first everybody uh knows or i mean everybody doesn't know i mean maybe you don't know pull your little thing bobber whatever this thing called the little yeah i'm gonna go for the gas but no pull your hood Pull it. Some people have it down here. Some people have it over there. Here, here, there. Wherever you got it, find it. Hopefully, you know where that's at. Some people don't. Find it. Maybe you need to Google it. Google it. But we're going to go over the, the hood of the car now. Alrighty. So, light oil, as it goes into your car, it's going to be very clear. And it's going to be very clear like that for the first 1,000 miles or so. Coming up around 1,500, 2,500 range. It's going to be that amber color that we are going to see next in the video. As my car comes around 3,000, surprisingly. But um, these are the good oil colors you want to see. As we start looking to the bad colors, like dark brown, you'll be able to know right away. That's when you're like, yeah, I could probably squeeze another couple hundred miles out of it. But, you know, it's a good idea to change it. And if you go for your oil and it's black sludge, and it's it's if you get to that point, you're running at 5,000, 6,000 miles on conventional oil. So get it a change. And I got the VTEC 2.4 DOHC. It's probably the most unbreakable engine in existence, but um, to get on into this, grab your paper towels, be ready with um, the idea of what the oil quality looks like, what you're looking for, and pop on up the uh, little dipstick, check the oil. Alrighty, so I'm popping on up the dipstick. This is 100 miles over the 3,000 oil change interval and as you can see here we're still working with amber oil a little bit on the browner side but we are still working with the color amber I'm trying to get the best way of showing that this this oil still has plenty of miles left on it this is the amber clear is going to be very 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 clear you're going to know as the oil progresses, it's gonna get darker, look like almost like honey, if that. I don't know if honey's dark, but this is what honey looks like, is what I'm looking at, like the amber. This has, I could probably drive this another a few hundred miles, if not thousand miles. So this is why it's always important to check the oil quality in your car, apart from just using the stickers, because sometimes, you really don't need an oil change every 3,000 miles. I, it's a bit of an overkill. If the oil is still in good quality, you can wipe this on off. Get back on in there. And always uh, say you're checking your oil. You should always check your oil here and there, especially if your car leaks and or just burns it off. But um, while you're doing this, it'd be a good thing to check your little dots. Every little dipstick has two little dots and the oil is supposed to be between those two dots. I am looking like I'm running a little high, if not perfect on there. But on the second dip, you can see it is a little bit darker on the amber side. This is because it does have 3,100 miles. I like to change my oil every 4,000 miles. 
So this is definitely good oil quality. Check the uh, the pictures in the video, Google some pictures, figure it on out. You want it to be the lighter the better, brown. If it's milky, trust me, you're gonna know right away. You're gonna be like, oh, 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 oh. But um, yeah, if you got any questions, any comments, any concerns, any um, thing you wanna throw in the comment section below, you know I'm here for it. So, um, leave a like, comment, like I just said, and um, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I, um, Hope you save some money with this. You don't overkill on the change in your oil because I could be like, oh, the sticker, it's telling me to change it and do it like right away. But no, 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 you don't really need to do that. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.